you. You're supposed to be dead. Am I not? Hey guys, it's Cambria. I haven't posted a video in a while, but I hope this will be a great return. I recently went to Disneyland and went on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and it reminded me so much of childhood, I just had to make a facts video on the series. Alright, so here it is. 50 facts you didn't know about the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Barbosa's return in Dead Man's Chest was actually left out of everyone's script, which made the actors' reactions of surprise even more authentic on set. So tell me, what's become of my ship? <laughs> Kira Knightley was only 17 years old during filming, and her mother had to accompany her to all of the shooting locations. The filmmakers made sure to include multiple nods to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in the films, including the inmates begging the dog for the key to their cell. The drunks and wenches of Tortuga. that has never breathed deep the sweet proliferous bouquet that is Tortugas. Eh? The pirate song. The wine going through Barbosa's skeletal chest. <laughs> and the man being dunked in the well. Clothing and smears of charcoal were used to conceal Johnny Depp's numerous tattoos. The Jack Sparrow tattoo on his arm in the movie is fake, but after filming, he actually got a real tattoo of it in honor of his son Jack. Kira Knightley felt very underqualified for the role of Elizabeth Swan. In fact, she was so sure that she would be fired within the first few days of production that she brought as little as possible with her to start filming. Come on, Kira, have some confidence. Kira Knightley said that throughout the series, she constantly had to pad her chest in order to make it appear as though there was something there. Jack the monkey is seen smiling when Barbosa thanks him after he returns the Aztec coin. The monkey did this purely by chance and it was not planned out in any way. It was so perfect that they decided to use that take for the film. Well, thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Not you, we named the monkey Jack. Johnny Depp improvises a lot of his lines in the films, including the notorious Bring me that horizon. During the scene when Elizabeth Swan falls into the ocean, activating the coin around her neck, the clouds in the sky form an outstretched, grasping hand coming towards the island. Jeffrey Rush was afraid that people wouldn't notice him on screen when he and Kira Knightley were in the same scene, so he came up with a solution. He thought that viewers watched films the same way that they read books, from left to right, and thus tried to be on the left side of the shot as much as possible so that people would notice him before they noticed Kira. During filming, Johnny Depp wore contact lenses that acted like sunglasses so he wouldn't have to squint while facing the sun. Curse of the Black Pearl was mainly filmed on location at Wallalabu Anchorage on the Caribbean Sea. Disney built elaborate pirate ships, replica cannons, and authentic period docks and marketplaces for the 2003 movie. When production was over, they abandoned the movie set and left everything. It has now turned into a very popular tourist attraction. The set used in this fight scene was actually cocoa powder. You cheated. Pirate. The moment when Elizabeth kissed Jack Sparrow in Dead Man's Chest was purposely cut out of Orlando Bloom's script so that the cameras could get a genuine, shocked reaction from him. Johnny Depp uses the phrase, interesting, as his trademark in many of the movies he stars in, including Sleepy Hollow. He uses it in Pirates of the Caribbean when Kohler's skeletal hand tries to grab him in jail. So there is a
Megan Fox was originally considered for the role of Serena. The names of the three main characters are all related to birds, Jack Sparrow, Elizabeth Swan, and William Turner, who was a famous ornithologist. Johnny Depp based his performance on Keith Richards because he thought that pirates were just 18th century versions of rock stars. After hearing this story, Keith Richards agreed to play Jack's father, Captain Teague, in the Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Uh, Jackie? Hello, Dad. If you pay attention throughout the course of the movies, there's a scab on Jack Sparrow's chin that gradually gets bigger and bigger. Many thought that was a mistake, but Depp revealed later that this was a prank he and his makeup artist had thought of together. The scene when Jack Sparrow yells, I got a jar of dirt, was actually unscripted and improvised, so the reaction from the other actors were genuine. Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Captain Jack is portrayed as having gold teeth in the film. The gold teeth were actually Depp's idea, but he knew that executives would want fewer gold teeth than he wanted, so Depp told his dentist to implant extra gold teeth into his mouth as a bargaining tool. After negotiations with the film executives, Sparrow's final number of gold teeth in the film is what Depp had envisioned all along. Johnny Depp bought new waterproof jackets for 500 crew members to protect them on set. He spent $64,000 out of his own pocket. The third installment, At World's End, is the first in the series in which Captain Barbosa's first name, Hector, is said. Interestingly, the writers did not initially plan on giving the character a first name. However, on the commentary for Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Johnny Depp jokingly said that Barbosa's name was Hector. This comment was misinterpreted by fans to be the character's actual name, and thus left the writers to feel that they had no choice but to include it in the series. Hector, how nice to see a fellow pirate make good of himself. The part of Jack Sparrow was written with Hugh Jackman in mind. When developing the character Jack Sparrow, writer and co-creator Stuart Beatty looked to the actor Hugh Jackman as inspiration. Despite this, Johnny Depp ended up nabbing the role. Before it became the Black Pearl, the original name of Jack Sparrow's ship was the Wicked Wench, the name of the ship from the Disneyland ride of the same name. Originally, the ride ship was captained by an unnamed pirate before he was replaced by Captain Barbosa from the movies. That was really Kira Knightley and not a stunt double who jumped off the plank. Kira Knightley recalled standing on the plank for two days during filming, although she was terrified when they told her that they could get her a stunt double to jump instead, she said that after waiting so long, she wanted to be the one to do it herself. Off you go! Come on! <laughs> Too long! The franchise has grossed $4.2 billion worldwide. It's the ninth highest grossing film series of all time, and it was the first franchise where more than one film grossed $1 billion worldwide. Robert De Niro was originally offered the role of Captain Jack Sparrow. However, he turned down the role because he thought the film would do poorly in box offices. Gibbs' facial hair is real. To save time spent in the makeup chair, Kevin McNally grew his actual beard out for the role. When Orlando Bloom was filming Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring in 2001, he got an elvish tattoo on his right wrist. It's covered during most of the Pirates films, but is mistakenly revealed when he raises his right arm in the sword fighting scene in Curse of the Black Pearl. Jude Law, Heath Ledger, Ewan McGregor, Tobey Maguire, Ben Payton, and Christian Bale all were considered for the role of Will Turner, but Orlando Bloom won the race partly because of his Lord of the Rings related stardom. The entire attack scene on Port Royal was shot in a single take. <laughs> Most of the men cast as pirate extras, including Jack Sparrow's fellow inmates, were bikers and out of work actors. Jack's pistol is the only authentic 18th century pistol in the movie. Director Gore Verbinski requested it especially because of the importance of the prop. The rest are all made by a prop master. Gents, y'all remember Captain Jack Sparrow? Yeah. <laughs> 
Johnny Depp was really steering the ships in the films. One of the biggest sets in the film was the Treasure Cave. It took over five months and a hundred craftsmen to build it on a soundstage in Hollywood. Me, I'm dishonest. And a dishonest man you can always trust to be dishonest. Dead Man's Chest ended up being the number one film of its year of release, earning almost $1.1 billion at the worldwide box office. A real ship named Lady Washington starred as the Interceptor. Though most of the ships seen in the film were created from scratch, Lady Washington was rented, sailed all the way down to the Caribbean, and used as the Interceptor. The crew repainted the entire boat, cut gun ports out for the cannons, changed the stern, and more. The island Isla de Muerta is Spanish for Island of Death or Death Island. Tortuga is also Spanish, meaning turtle. In an early version of the script, according to the DVD commentary, Norrington was to ask Elizabeth to marry him and she says no. Enraged by this, Norrington was going to join Barbosa, and the two of them were going to try to take over the Caribbean. However, this script was turned down. The East India Company, the real-life counterpart of the film franchise's East India Trading Company, really did brand pirates with a P, but it was put on their forehead instead of their arm. This cloud formation is an official hidden Mickey. When filming in the cave, excessive makeup was added to the actors so they wouldn't look washed out in the film. When the crew realized how cool the makeup looked on Johnny Depp, they continued to use it on him for the rest of the movie. The title was originally just Pirates of the Caribbean, but the name was changed in the hope that it would do well at the box office and a sequel could be made. Ted Elliott and Terry Rosio have said in interviews that they wrote the script in the early 90s. Somehow, Steven Spielberg got a hold of the script and wanted to direct the film with Bill Murray, Steve Martin, or Robin Williams playing Captain Jack Sparrow. But Disney did not give permission for the film to be made. A man deserves that. According to the screenwriter's commentary on the DVD, Will Turner is the best swordsman in the film, Barbosa and Commodore Norrington are evenly matched, and Jack Sparrow is actually the worst. You need to find yourself a girl, mate. The movie's world premiere was located at Disneyland Park at the Disneyland Resort in California, home to the original Pirates of the Caribbean attraction, on June 28, 2003. This was the first ever movie premiere at Disneyland. When returning from a night shoot on one of the Caribbean islands, Kira Knightley's boat struck a reef and went down. The only people on board were Knightley, her mother, and the boat skipper, all of whom escaped unharmed and were rescued within a few hours. However, the incident ultimately determined that the rest of the island night scenes needed would complete filming in a studio rather than on location for safety. For Curse of the Black Pearl, 50 makeup artists, 900 wardrobe pieces, and 30 hairstylists were used to help create the look of the characters. Industrial light and magic designers scanned pieces of jerky to create the effect of decomposing skin when the pirates turn into their skeletal forms. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. Until next time, peace you guys.